<clears throat> yeah, thank you everyone for being here. Welcome and welcome if you're watching the recording. So yeah, a few technical issues, but hopefully all will be well. Let's see. So yeah, if you wanna just arrive into our space, take some breaths. And just breathing. And just settling into this space together. So welcome, welcome. Session two, how is everyone today? How are you feeling? Good. There hasn't been a lot of sharing, which is perfectly fine. I'm just, yeah, love to know how everyone is. Of course, please do feel free to share anytime. And you can always message me directly if that feels more comfortable too. But thank you all for being here. Okay. So let's get started. So just a brief intro. Energetics, ultimately about aligning with what you want to create or bring into the world or in some way. And by that, I mean, it's when what you, you're saying you want on the outside is in alignment with what you're feeling and believing about for yourself, for, for yourself, yeah, on a subconscious level. Because often we say we want one thing, but actually there might be deep fears or resistance around it because it might mean we have to be more visible and we've got fears there. We might think we'll lose something, you know, such as our current circle of friends or family members because we'll be different, we'll be changing. And they won't be. You know, there are so many reasons and stories that we can make up that can stop us, that can cause this misalignment within us energetically and then stop stopping you ultimately or causing a block or a resistance into what you're trying to create. So often these are, you know, seen as blocks, bad things, negative things, but they really are an opportunity for growth and healing as well as expanding into more of your truth. And of course there are with all of these things, a number of ways to go into the energetics to support you. You know, movement, journaling, belief work, EFT or tapping, theta healing, art therapy, you know, just to name a few. And sometimes it's as simple as just acknowledging what we're feeling, the energy, and it can shift. Because so often we just move on past these shift, these bits in us that don't feel good, that feel stuck, blocked. But today, we're going to be doing a visualization into the body and regressing to another time in this lifetime, probably, when you might have felt the same. This is quite a deep way, but one that I have found to be super powerful for aligning the energetics, you know, multiple levels, because it gets into things from the root. So, you know, for those of you that know me or read my book, Embody Business, I had the hugest visibility fear when I first started this journey. And I mean, like, when I had to come on Zoom for the first time, I was so shaking, sweaty, dripping, literally. It was intense. You know, it was just to meet one other lady for a potential circle I was going to be in. And it was, was really bad. And so, you know, some of these fears are bigger than others. And I had to do so much, you know, work on, work on it. I tried tapping. I tried journaling. I had kind of therapy on it even. But what really shifted for me was the past life regression work and going into other lifetimes where I was often, you know, burned for being visible, you know, as a witch, for example, you know, all these sorts of things. And I had multiple lifetimes where that wound came up. So it really shifted it for me. You know, I still get a little nervous when I come online, I still get nervous doing these things, but it's not nearly what it used to be. So this is why I find this work so powerful. And that's what we're going to go into. So, before we begin, I want you to sort of start to feel into something that might be coming up for you. It could be something that's coming, rising from the session yesterday on expanding into this biggest, most expansive vision. 
but also it could just be something that's going on for you right now. You know, some stuckness, some fear, some resistance, anything that doesn't feel great within you because the best place to start is where, where we are, are right now. So, you know, even if you don't have anything, don't worry, I'll guide you in there, but just, and just trust what rises. I am gonna share a few prompts just to maybe help you start to tune in. So the first one is when you think of, you know, your biggest, most expansive, limitless vision that you're being called to create or bring into the world, how does it feel? I'm gonna pop them in the chat as well. Do you notice any kind of contraction in your body? Or anything at all that doesn't feel so great in your body? And if this one maybe doesn't resonate or doesn't land today, what is rising for you right now in general that feels like it's something you need to go into, get to the root cause of, that could be holding you back or stopping you in some way, or just simply needs some attention? So just to start to feel into this and see if it starts to activate anything in your body, anything in you. And it's really about trusting that. But just to say, when we do go in, I'm gonna invite you to call in something that was rising, but you can also just trust what your body is feeling and go to that. Okay, so we are going to go into visualization now. We're going to go into what you're feeling, get to know it a bit, and then we are going to follow that into another time. It might be in this lifetime, it might be in another. I'll let, you know, let yourself be guided. Just trust where you go. And again, if nothing comes, that's also fine. Just allow it to work with you, through you, and just be open for what does come up. That's my invitation. Okay, so I will turn off my video, my internet. Let's get started. So get really comfortable. You're welcome to close your eyes or lower your gaze. Whatever feels better to you today. And just begin to take some breaths into your lower belly. Allowing it to soften. Allowing your body to soften into whatever it is that you're sitting or lying on. Just really beginning to feel that support beneath you. You're letting your legs and your feet be heavy.
feeling your hips softening, letting go. And softening your back, your shoulders. Letting your arms and your hands be heavy. Unclenching your jaw. And softening your brow. Just letting all the muscles in your face begin to soften and be heavy. And just noticing any areas of tightness or tension and just breathing into them allowing them to soften a little bit more. And just arriving into your body, allowing your breath to bring you deeper into your body. And now if it resonates, inviting you to call in the support of any ancestors, guides and beings in the non-physical who are here to hold you and support you. So just inviting in this support, allowing it to hold you. Taking you deeper within. And now I invite you to bring your attention to what it was that was rising, the trigger, the issue, whatever it might be, just beginning to notice it in your body. noticing which part of your body it's calling from. And just keep breathing into it, really bringing your awareness to it, feeling it more as you do. Where in your body is it? What are you feeling? And just keep breathing into it, allowing it to be with you a bit and acknowledging it. Acknowledging its messages for you. And now, 
I invite you to make yourself really small and take yourself in your body next to it as close as you can get or simply just bring your awareness inside your body next to it. And so just beginning to arrive inside your body just becoming aware of it from this perspective. What are you noticing? What are you feeling? Keep breathing into it. And as you're with this feeling, what shape is it? What size is it? And does it have a color? Just really letting it come into your awareness and keep breathing into it. And now, as you're with it, we're going to ask a few questions and just being open to whatever it wants to share. And if it doesn't, that's also fine. Is there anything it would like to say to you? What does it need? And if it feels good, I invite you to bring in whatever it needed. Just imagine yourself doing this. And if there's nothing, you can always just bring in love. Does it need anything else?
And so really acknowledging this part, what it needed, what it needs, receiving its wisdom. And now we're going to take a journey back to a younger version of you who may have also felt this feeling. So just imagine that you're now traveling back along your timeline in this lifetime, just following the feelings, the emotions, the energy. And just going back to a time when you also felt this way and just allowing the energy to take you, trusting it, allowing yourself to travel back through your timeline. And just trusting wherever you end up and finding yourself there now. And so just beginning to allow it to come into your awareness. Where are you? And how old are you and what's happening? Really being present into what was going on, acknowledging it. can we ask this version of you to share how they're feeling?
and what do they need to feel safe, loved, held, supported? And now inviting you to bring in what they need. Imagine yourself giving it to them in whatever way they need it. Just keep supporting this version of you, giving them what they need to support them, to love them, to hold them. Do they need anything else right now? And if they do, inviting you to bring it in.
And do they have anything that they would like to share with you? And is there anything else for you to take from this experience before we draw it to a close for now? And now, thanking this version of you. And if it feels good and true to you, letting them know that you're there for them and that they can connect with you whenever they need. And so now feeling a pink light of love just beginning to come down surrounding this entire experience surrounding this version of you surrounding you just really feeling that light of love begin to blanket and cocoon the whole experience and just deeply breathing it in receiving it And as you do, allowing it to go down your timeline in all directions, feeling it coming up to the present moment as well. And so just really breathing in that love and taking a few more breaths in this space. Receiving all you need for now, knowing you can come back if you need to at any time.
And so gently, just beginning to bring yourself back up your timeline, back into your body in this present moment. Just beginning to arrive back in your body and starting to become aware of your physical body. And feeling your skin against the surfaces and the temperature of the air on your skin. Just becoming aware of the room around you. And then just beginning to bring in some gentle movement, stretching, really arriving back into your body. And just take as long as you need. And when you feel ready, you can gently open your eyes and come back. And I'm going to give you a couple of minutes now just to journal on anything you like might like to remember moving forward. inviting you to come back if you'd like to but also please feel free just to keep journaling and stay in a, in a space of connection how is everyone welcome back my pleasure thank you so yeah so just be gentle with yourselves you know sometimes going into in a child or younger versions can bring up stuff really up your self-care and do what you need to support yourself oh, i'm so happy it was powerful good thank you so yeah, and please reach out if you need support in any way or yeah, feel free to share in the group as well whilst it's open. Thank you so much. I'm so happy it was the support. Yeah, thank you everyone. And yeah, please be super kind and gentle with yourselves. And I will see you tomorrow when we will be 
connecting to the soul of your business and getting a feel for it and how it wants to be expressed through you. We'll yeah, be playing in that energy tomorrow. So yeah, lots of love for now, everyone. Thank you. And I'll see you then. Bye.